How can I avoid ISF penalties for knives and tools? Welcome back to our Customs Brokerage series. In today's video, we'll be discussing how you can avoid importer security filing ISF, penalties for knives and tools. If you're involved in the importation of these items, it's crucial to understand the regulations and requirements to ensure a smooth and penalty-free process. So, let's get started. Before we delve into avoiding ISF penalties, let's quickly recap what an ISF is. The importer security filing is a document that must be submitted to U.S. Customs and Border Protection CBP, prior to the arrival of goods in the United States by ocean vessel. It contains information about the cargo, such as the shipper, consignee, and the goods themselves. Failing to file or delaying the submission can result in penalties and delays. To avoid ISF penalties for knives and tools, there are a few key steps you should take. 1. Know the filing deadline. Ensure that your ISF is filed at least 24 hours before your shipment is loaded onto an ocean vessel bound for the United States. Failure to meet this deadline can result in penalties. 2. Accurate product classification. Properly classify your knives and tools based on the harmonized system HS codes. The HS codes will determine the applicable duty rates, regulations, and any additional requirements specific to these items. 3. Provide detailed and accurate information. When filling out your ISF, make sure to provide complete and accurate information about the shipment, including the shipper's name and address, consignee's name and address, and a detailed description of the goods. This will help customs officials assess the admissibility of the goods and identify any potential risks. 4. Understand special requirements. Some knives and tools may have special requirements for importation, such as additional certifications, licenses, or permits. Research and ensure that you comply with any specific regulations related to your particular products. 5. Work with a licensed customs broker, partnering with a licensed customs broker who specializes in the importation of knives and tools can significantly simplify the process and help you navigate the regulations more effectively. They can provide guidance on proper classification, documentation requirements, and ensure your ISF filing is done correctly. 6. Regularly monitor and update your ISF. It's important to stay proactive and regularly review and update your ISF information as necessary. Any changes or updates to your shipment details must be reported to CBP in a timely manner to avoid penalties. In conclusion, to avoid ISF penalties when importing knives and tools, it's essential to understand the regulations and requirements, file your ISF on time, provide accurate information, and comply with any special importation requirements. Working with a licensed customs broker who specializes in these items can be incredibly beneficial. Stay proactive and keep your ISF up to date to ensure a smooth and penalty-free importing process. Thank you for watching. We hope you found this video informative. If you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, please let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more customs brokerage tips and tricks. Disclaimer note below. Until next time, happy importing. So